story to tell. In early December 1972, the U.S. suspended the signing of the Paris Agreement. Nixon threatened to destroy Hanoi with bombs, forcing Hanoi to kneel to accept terms that were favorable for the U.S. at the Paris Conference. From the evening of December 18 to 29, 1972, the United States launched Operation Liebecker True mobilizing 193 B-52 strategic bombers, more than 1,077 tactical aircraft of all kinds. There were also 50 KC-135 aerial refueling aircraft, 6 aircraft carriers, and the most modern warfare equipment. Hanoi, Haiphong, Thai Nguyen, and several other provinces became the target of the attack Continuously for 12 days and nights, B-52 dropped more than 20,000 tons of bombs and ammunition of all kinds. This was the most intense bombing race of the Vietnam War, as well as in the history of the wars. Vietnam battlefield was the first and only time that saw the failure of the B-52 Stratofortress. In the 12 days and nights of fighting, the Vietnamese side claimed to have shot down a total of 81 U.S. aircraft, including 34 B-52s. According to Wikipedia, during Operation Linebacker 2, 15 B-52s were shot down, 5 were heavily damaged, and 5 suffered medium damage. A total of 25 crewmen were killed in these losses. After 45 years, scholars are still looking for an answer to the question why Vietnam can defeat the B-52. Peter MacDonald, an official in the British Army, in his book, Shab, the Victor in Vietnam, said that the air defense system that the North Vietnamese created was very complicated and harmful. It was just by American experts to be comparable to NATO's sophisticated network to defend Western Europe. The core of this air defense system was the S-75 Divina missile, or SAM-2, and the MiG-21 fighter jet. Supporting them were about 4,000 guns and artillery from 12.7 to 100 mm, 2,000 of which were deployed to protect Hanoi and Haiphong. In Vietnam, S-75 Vina is widely known as SAM-2, which is the abbreviation of surface to air missile TAP-2. The S-75 is a Soviet-designed high-altitude air defense system built around a surface to air missile with command guidance. Following its first deployment in 1957, it became one of the most widely deployed air defense systems in history. Tevina has a mast of 2.3 tons, length of 10.6 meters, diameter of 0.7 meters. It carries a 200 kg fragmentation high explosive warhead. The S-75 uses a two-stage missile consisting of a solid fuel booster and a storable liquid fuel upper stage. Its operating range is 45 km. Fly altitude is 25,000 meters. Top speed is Mark 3.5. The SAM-2 was equipped with the Vietnamese Air Defense Force in early 1965 and became one of the main weapons to protect Hanoi, Haiphong, and some other key targets against American aircraft. The most significant improvement of the SAM-2 system in Vietnam is the technical improvements that can deal with both passive and electromagnetic jamming from the U.S. Air Force. The B-52 is a strategic bomber capable of extremely strong electromagnetic jamming. A group of three B-52s 
had fortified jammers, rendering the enemy's radar completely useless. The Escort B-52 was a formation of electronic warfare aircraft, which paralyzed enemy radar systems. The P-12 radar stations of the S-75 missile battalions only received dense noise, sometimes widening the screen. Most of the Vietnam's radar stations at that time reported that they were heavily jammed, unable to detect the target. In fact, the SAM-2 missile can destroy the target at an altitude of over 24,000 meters, while the service link of the B-52 is only 17,000 meters and only 10,000 meters when bombing, so the SAM-2 could reach B-52. However, given the powerful jamming ability of the US aircraft, the SAM-2 missile was almost useless. The North Vietnamese immediately set up a jamming reconnaissance team in order to learn about the technical features and tactics of enemy jamming. They discovered something special. The enemy jammers did not work at a wavelength of 3 cm. In fact, the B-52 had an ARR-18 jammer operating at a wavelength of 3 cm but was to deal with the MiG-21 radar. The jamming antenna was directed towards the tail, so did not affect the ground radar. For the North, this discovery was extremely valuable. In their hands, they were equipped with a tough of radar working at a 3 cm wavelength. The K860 radar station for the 57mm artillery funded by China the Vietnamese air defense took advantage of this to defeat the B-52. Although by today's standards, the SAM-2 was obsolete. At the time, it was a formidable weapon. Highly maneuverable, the launchers can move half an hour after firing and reposition after one hour. This flexibility makes it very difficult to detect. One trick for the Vietnamese army to gain advantage was that the gunman launched an unguided missile and turned on the radar to control it at the last phase, allowing enough time for the missile to lock the target, but not enough for the American aircraft's interceptors. Another trick was to launch at least two S-75 missiles, one after another. The first shot was high, forcing American aircraft to use electronic equipment to evade them. While the defense system was busy, the second missile was fired along the first path until the target was locked and destroyed. After more than 40 years, the secrets have been revealed. And that is the story of S-75 Divina of Vietnam. If you are interested in the topic of Vietnam War, let me know in the comments. It will motivate me to do the next videos. Thank you. My video of S-75 Divina ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.